There are eight different types of bears that may be found in today's world. The brown bear, the American black bear, the Asiatic black bear, the giant panda, the sloth bear, the polar bear, the Andean spectacled bear, and the sun bear. But why there are no bears in Africa? We will explore answers for this question, so let us get into it. All bear species can be found in every region on the planet except for Africa, where there are none of them to be found. They can be found in North and South America, Europe, Asia, and the Arctic. The polar bear and the Kodiak bear, which is a subspecies of the brown bear, are the two biggest bears in the world. They can weigh up to 1,200 pounds or 550 kilograms and reach up to 10 feet or 3 meters tall when standing on their hind legs. The sun bear, on the other hand, is the smallest of the bear species. It is distinguished from other bears by its short, slick coat as well as its nose that is lighter in color. The adult males weigh anything from 27 to 50 kilograms or 60 to 110 pounds, whilst the adult females are just somewhat lighter. In Africa, there is an abundance of both flora and food animals for bears, as well as a diverse range of habitats suitable for numerous bear species. So, why aren't there any bears in Africa right now? Until quite recently, bears did occur in Africa. North Africa's Atlas Mountains was once a home to the Atlas Bear. It was believed that their range extended from Morocco all the way to Libya, and they seem to be a little bulkier variant of the modern-day black bears that live in the United States. The Romans engaged in extensive hunting of the Atlas Bear, cart many of them, and used them as amusement in a variety of their games. This practice lasted for hundreds of years, and throughout that time, Hundreds upon thousands of bears were put through their paces in arenas to compete against gladiators, lions, tigers, and other creatures. They were subjected to inhumane treatment, and they were often deprived of food and left emaciated in order to heighten their sense of hopelessness and, as a result, their hostility inside the arena. Hunting these bears for amusement or the execution of criminals and adbestias resulted in the deaths of thousands of these animals. The Atlas Bear vanished off the face of the earth not long after the invention of modern weaponry. It's possible that excessive hunting was a factor in their extinction. Because of the pressure from zoo collectors, the animals were separated from one another and rendered incapable of reproducing and thriving as a result of their situation. The Atlas Bear became extinct for good in the late 19th century. The last one known to have been slain by hunters was in the year 1870 in the Tetuan Mountains, which are located in the northern region of Morocco. It is undeniable that the actions of humans were responsible for a significant portion of the factors that led to the extinction of the Atlas Bear. A new species of bear that was native to Africa has been identified according to fossil evidence. It is called the Griorium africanum. These bears were of an enormous size. They had a body length of around 2 meters or 7 feet and weighed up to 750 kilograms or 1650 pounds, making them bigger than the majority of bears that are still alive today. An examination of the teeth, jaw, and patterns of tooth wear indicates that a Griorium was an omnivore that consumed a significant amount of plants. Isodope evidence suggests that it did consume a significant amount of animal material, similar to how certain populations of modern brown bears consume a significant amount of animal prey. That concludes everything for this video. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in seeing more interesting videos about animals, please do not hesitate to check out our video Polar Bears vs. Grizzly Bears or our video Why Lions and Hyenas Hate Each Other. Have a nice day.